Hello, I'm Ruth Stevens. I'm an adjunct professor at NYU Stern in New York City, and I'm really looking forward to visiting Bangalore and offering this course called Customer Acquisition and Retention. The theme of this course is that the customer base represents an asset to the firm. And like any asset, cash, inventory, buildings, um, employees, talent, it needs to be managed carefully. So in this course, we're going to focus on the tools and techniques that allow you to develop customer relationships at a profit and drive shareholder value. We'll focus on two areas of customer value uh, applications. One is identifying the most high potential prospective customers and figuring out exactly how much we can afford to pay to acquire them and to kick off a relationship that will be profitable and deliver shareholder value. And the second is that we'll focus on how once the customer is acquired, to optimize that relationship, expand the value through techniques like cross purchasing, repeat purchasing, preventing defection, stimulating loyalty and referral, and otherwise uh, re retaining and expanding the customer relationship over time. Now, I'm going to be introducing a number of tools and techniques that support customer asset management. And the first is that we'll learn how to calculate mathematically the lifetime value, the expected lifetime value of a new customer, and how to use that value to determine how much we can pay to acquire and how much we can afford to invest in customer retention over time while continuing a profitable ROI and a, a profitable relationship. The second is we're going to focus a lot on data. That's data sources, data uses, and how data is involved in uh, decision making for customer management. Third, we'll uh, discuss customer contact management, which is a set of techniques that allow us to reduce the amount of waste that goes on today, typically in marketing communications, laser target our communications, measure them over time, and um, invest in building and sustaining that customer relationship profitably. Fourth, I'll introduce a set of techniques that allow you to measure your marketing communications. This is known as uh, direct response communications, a set of tools that are highly measurable and allow you to, in financial terms, understand the value of the relationship over time. Um, this, is, this type of marketing communications is especially effective through digital channels, but can also be structured to work offline through offline media as well. Then, um, I'm going to introduce customer experience management, which is a framework for driving additional perceived customer value um, that is especially effective in expanding how much the customer is willing to pay to do business with the firm because the perception of the brand is, has uh, been improved. And then there's loyalty. There are loyalty programs that we'll discuss, some of which are applicable in certain situations and probably should be avoided in others. So we'll look at how to retain customers through loyalty programs. And, and lastly, we'll look at marketing within a societal framework, meaning there are a lot of marketing practices today that society has found intolerable. Uh, consumers are concerned about data privacy and security, for example, and we marketers need to operate within the constraints of society. So we'll have a, a good look at social issues in marketing. 
Now, you're wondering how is this class going to run? Well, we'll uh, be focused on case studies, we'll have a lot of discussion in class, and some lectures. I'll also be bringing in some outside guest speakers. These will be practitioners in the field who can share their experiences and their wisdom with you. And when it comes to assignments, we'll have two or three individual assignments due throughout the weeks that we're together. We are not going to be using a textbook. I do have a lot of very interesting readings for you. Um, about half will be from academic sources and about half from industry. We're not going to have an exam, but the largest part of your grade will be based on a team project that will allow you to apply the tools and techniques that you're learning in this course to a specific company of your team's choosing. And you, as a team, will interact with that company. You'll basically get acquired by that company, uh, buy from them, return, interact with them, and assess the customer experience and how uh, how much they are spending to work with you or to, to have a relationship with you. And at the end of the course, you'll be delivering a recommendation for how they can improve their customer management and your assessment of the experience of doing business with that firm. That will be deliverable in a presentation in class that we'll all enjoy and also a final team paper. So in summary, this kind of marketing is accountable. It's structured to deliver shareholder value. And I believe it will come in handy throughout your career. Um, if you're the kind of manager who is interested in data-driven decision-making, this is the marketing course for you. I've had the fun of teaching this class at Columbia Business School, at NYU Stern, and at Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. And I really hope you'll join me at IIMB this fall, September 3rd. Thank you.